Hey there, this is Nick Slotta with Red Ox Insurance Agency coming at you with another video about trucking and how to get started in your trucking business. Before I get started and what I want to talk about today, just want to thank those subscribers, those that are commenting, those that have given me a thumbs up. Even if you give me a thumbs down, uh, comment, give me some feedback. I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to help you guys get better as well. So again, can't thank you enough for those that are watching the video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Take a look at the details below for some additional information that may be helpful for you and your business. And I can't stress it enough. Please comment if there's anything that you want me to do a video on. I'll be happy to do the research um, and share with you what I find out. But today I wanted to talk about two things that are essential that you must have when you start your trucking business, okay? The first is money. You need money before you start this business. Uh, I just want to be honest with you. There are a lot of folks out there that I'm talking to, unfortunately, on a regular basis that really started their trucking business on a shoestring budget. They really didn't have any savings. They thought that they would hit the ground running immediately and start making some money. And that did not happen. It doesn't happen that quickly. I'm not saying that it can't ever happen, but it's going to take a little bit of time. I mean, from the time that you apply for your authority, do everything that you need to do, get a truck, get insurance, get hooked up with carriers, get hooked up with low boards, get your factoring set up. That stuff takes a little bit of time. It might be two months before you actually start moving freight and start making money. And even then, you're going to find some, you're going to have some challenges because not every broker is going to accept a new venture trucker. Uh, so that first year is going to be pretty tough. So what you want to have is a nest egg to, that you can live off of to help you get through that first year. And it's not going to, I'm not telling you that it's going to take a year before you start making good money. But you need to be prepared in case it does. It may You never know what's going to happen. So you want to have money in the bank and before you start this business. And if you don't have money in the bank, then maybe you should just work for somebody else, work for a carrier, get some, you know, get some money saved up. And then once you have a nest egg that you can live on for a few months, to, until you get started rolling and making money, uh, it might be in your best interest to do that. So if you're somebody that's getting ready to start and you don't have any money, I mean, you might not even have money for your down payment for your insurance. I mean, it's, it's really expensive uh, to start an insurance policy for trucking, much less everything else that you got to deal with, paying the bills and things like that. Uh, so number one, you got to have money in the bank. And I don't recommend getting a loan and starting your business in debt. Save. Save. It's better for you to put this off until next year and save some money so that you sustain so that you can uh, you know provide for your family and stay in business versus trying to do this thing on a with no money and, and you know, hope and pray that it all works out. Uh, obviously I hope it does for you, but if it doesn't, uh, you know, you got to have some savings to rely on to help you get through the first few months, which can be very difficult. Uh, that leads me to the second thing that I believe every trucker needs before they start their own trucking business, and that's experience. I'm not telling you, again, I'm not telling anybody what they can or can't do. I'm just telling you what I'm finding out from my clients and what subscribers are calling me and talking to me about, and that's experience is, is vital. You have to know what you're doing. I mean, you can, can you start a trucking business with no experience and, and learn as you go? You can. Will you be as successful? I don't think so. You got to have experience. You got to know what you're doing. You not, you got to know how to get loads and, uh, what all the requirements are for you to be a good truck driver, to stay in business. Uh, you just need to have that experience. So if you're thinking about, you know, driving a tractor trailer, you know, my advice would be to go with a carrier, for be a carrier driver for about a year or two and, and get that experience, get them to pay for your CDL if you don't have that yet. 
you just got to know what you're doing uh, from a safety standpoint, from a business standpoint, from a driving standpoint. You just got experience is important. So just like when I started my insurance agency, uh, you know, I've, I've been in the insurance business since 2003 and I've done a little bit of everything. I've been in claims. I've been on the employee benefit side. I've been on the property casualty side. I've worked for a carrier. I've worked for an agency. So all that experience gave me the confidence to start my own agency. Um, I don't think I could have done it without the experience and money as well. I mean, I had to save up and expect to not be paid for a while and still be able to provide for my family. So really, it's it's not just trucking. It's any business that you're any new venture that you're going to start. You want to have a little bit of experience and you're going to want to have some money in the bank. Uh, hopefully you find this helpful and not discouraging. Hopefully you find it encouraging and, and take it as good advice. If you don't have the money, just save up. Just work your butt off until you have a nest egg. How much is that nest egg have to be? I, you know, I can't really tell you that. It just depends on how successful you're going to be and how hard you're going to work. But you definitely need money to, you know, apply for your authority, get your LLC or however you're going to be organized, get a truck. And again, I can't stress this enough. Preferences to buy a truck versus rent a truck or lease a truck. And then uh, be able to pay the bills for a couple months. Uh, you got to pay insurance. That down payment, you know, could be expensive. So it could be 20% of your annual premium in some cases. So those are things that you need to be thinking about now if you are about to start a trucking business. Uh, comment below. Don't be afraid. Uh, subscribe, please. And, and, and continue to reach out if you have anything that I can help you with, please shoot me an email, nick at redoxinsurance.com, nick at redoxinsurance.com. Thank you. Take care.